So Mark Anderson here, ICT Evangelist. Welcome to this short video, which is going to demonstrate how to use this great new tool from Adobe called Animate From Audio. Those of you who have used the Adobe Character Animator before will recognize this. Uh, this is a sort of a stripped down web-based version. Um, you don't actually need a login on Adobe Express or anything like that to use it. It's just straight from the URL, which you'll find down below in the, uh, in the notes. Uh, but um, yeah, it's super easy to use with great outcomes. And essentially it's a tool that enables you to um, pick one of these many characters over here on the right hand side. And then as you hit record, you speak into the uh, microphone on your laptop or whatever it is you're using. And the, uh, the sort of the technology behind the scenes uh, will make the character come to life and recognize when you've spoken. Uh, so that the lips move in sync with your conversation. Uh, so that's the sort of thing that it is. It's, uh, if you remember an old app for iPad called Telegami, it's a very similar sort of affair, uh, where again, you choose the character, um, and speak in, record your voice, and uh, away you go, it's that, that sort of thing. Another popular tool uh, still used in the classroom, of course, is things like Yakit Kids. Uh, and the reason why these tools are really popular is because often as educators, we want to um, hear from our children. Oracy, as we all know, is, is, is a, a really uh, important and it's got big links into learning. Uh, if you want more information on that sort of thing, do a bit of background research into the work of Voice 21. But um, many children don't actually like to have their faces on screen. And so using a third party, a, a, a character such as one of the ones you can see here to express things uh, is a great way of um, being able to hear children's voices. Now, Oracy, as I said before, was really important, but on top of that, uh, this tool's got fantastic uses for languages uh, where you need to have to obviously speak the language as a teacher, you'll want to hear the pronunciation, the, the accent being used, so forth and so on. I'm no um, languages teacher, so I won't try and speak in Spanish or French or any other language. Uh, but hopefully from this demonstration, you'll get an idea of, of A, how you can use the tool. And believe me, it's super easy. Um, but then the ideas and things you can use it for in the classroom. So the first thing you will do then uh, is you will choose your character. And as you'll see as I swipe through, there are quite a few to choose from. Uh, this guy here is called Mark and well, he and I have both got a beard, so we'll go with that one there. Then we can go over here and choose the background. And so you can place that uh, character in lots of different places and spaces. You can as well, if you notice, you can actually upload your own image. So you could choose the background. So let's say you're teaching about um, Paris or uh, some other uh, historical location. You could actually insert that historical location as your background. So you could then record your little virtual tour uh, of, of different sort of sites and places around that particular location. So lots of options available to you here. And then you can also choose the size. So you can choose your output size for different social media platforms. So this one's just, just defaulted to Twitter, um, but there are lots of others available. And you've got a customized choice here as well, which sets it to uh, this sort of square box like this. Uh, but let's see if I can just change that to something different. Uh, let's make it to 1080, there we go. And you see it's updated there, but I think if I click onto here, I can unlock that. So I could go yeah, 1080 by 1920 or 1920 by 1080, whatever it is. In fact, I think I might just do that there like so. So that then changes the aspect ratio like so, as you can see on the page. And you can see you've got much more visual space there with the background there. And then it's simply a case of just you know, hitting record uh, and choosing the audio file. Now it could be, if you wanted to, you could pre-record this and upload an audio file to go into it. And we're, we're gonna record it live straight in and here we go. Hi, I'm Mark. I'm here hanging out today at the local play park. Here, recent investment in, from a local authority has meant we've got this fantastic new space for children to play. Check it out. So I've paused it there. You could actually just hit done. If I wanted to show you, you could pause it, have a little think. If you wanted to refer to your script, something like that, you can hit resume and carry on. I'm actually done, so I'm just going to hit done now. Once it's done that, it will take a moment to just process the file and uh, it'll sort of generate a little preview for you. It takes a few seconds just to process that video. You've got a little progress bar over here on the right hand side, which will tell you how long uh, you've got left and that, what the progress is. 
and uh, as it says, you know, um, it's explained to you uh, how it actually uh, works and uh, uh, how some of the physics is built into the characters can change different things and so forth and so on. Uh, so there you go, and it just takes a few seconds just to uh, compress that video down there at the end, and when it's done, you can listen back to it uh, as we'll do in just a few seconds. So that's done now. So um, we can go back and edit it some more if you want to. One thing that I do like is it shows you the waveform. So if you want to trim it down for um, uh, to a file size's sake or just to make it a bit more succinct, you can just click on these drag handles and just drag it in. And I can see from the height here that there's nothing actually going on. So I'm just gonna move that across to here. I think I'm probably gonna start speaking about there. There's obviously a gap at the end. So I'm just going to do that there as well. And then once you've done that, you can just press play and listen to it, make sure it's all good. So I'll just try that now. Hi, I'm Mark. I'm here hanging out today at the local play park. A recent investment in the local authority. And we've got this fantastic new space for children to play. Check it out. Absolutely brilliant. Spot on. The trimming worked really well. I'm good to go. Once I've done that, I can then uh, download that. Hit download. And that's then just, just download that straight to my device after it's just processed it and finished off doing that little trimming that I had done. Probably gonna take a few seconds again, so let's speed that process up. And there you go, the video has downloaded. Fantastic. So look, um, great tool, uh, super easy to use. And uh, let's just give it a quick, amazing rating and just submit that, fantastic. So look, um, this can be used in a lot of different ways. Once it's actually been created, if you've got the um, Adobe Express um, Creative Cloud, Adobe CC Express uh, tool at your school, you can easily drop these images straight into there. So you can actually create a sequence of these videos together. Uh, based upon the aspect ratios you can change, you can, if you want to, share them to social media. Uh, you could also, um, if you wanted to, you could quite easily take those and drop them in to something like PowerPoint or Keynote, uh, where you could then export that as a video with those different slides, one after the other, on, in your video. Uh, you can drop them into Book Creator. Uh, you can drop them into lots and lots of different things. But the beauty of it is it's just so simple and it gives children the chance to in a really low stakes way, use their voice to explain new topics, to show their understanding, uh, to show their ability to pronounce words, to speak in a certain language, and so much more besides. I hope you found that little video useful. Uh, Mark Anderson here, ICT Evangelist. Thanks for taking a listen. Take care.